Hello everyone, I'm Felt, and in today's Forza Horizon video, I am the bearer of bad news. Forza Horizon 6 won't be set in Japan. Just to be clear, this is an educated guess more than a fact, but my predictions are usually quite accurate. Tomorrow I'll be releasing a video with some ideas for where it will be set, so subscribe if you don't want to miss that or any future speculation. With that out of the way, time to give you 5 reasons why FH6 won't be set in Japan. People have been asking for this for so long that it needs to be absolutely perfect. And the last two games were the polar opposite of perfect, and the devs know this. Forza Horizon 5's first few days, weeks even, the online was shockingly bad. Quite often it was even unplayable. Very simple concept. What did you- Whoa! Whoa! 4 is broken! 4 GT looks- You have been disconnected! What? No! Yeah, I'm just going straight to destination. Oh god, it's frozen in the way Horizon 3 did before my car was launched across the map. Oh no. Oh, come on, Forza. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that's my first game crash. Oh god, the world's... There's no world there. New Horizon Adventure Chapter, what? Was it? Oh god. It's crashed again. But I'm not going to unlock them any other way if it crashes every five minutes. I think it's crashed while it's loading up. Even now there are frequent connection issues and the game suffers from a high amount of crashes on both console and PC. Horizon Japan is likely going to be the most purchased Forza game of all time and they can't afford to make mistakes. To be fair, the media is so in love with Forza of Horizon that they could literally do anything, but it only takes one pillar to not play along for the roof to cave in. I know from responses to previous videos of mine, as well as just general discussion on the internet, how much the Forza community wants big, impressive cities. The hard truth is, cities are not interesting to drive around. They're tight and irritating to navigate in anything with a molecule of speed. The Forza devs have said before that they don't want two bigger cities in their games, because they think it's not fun. And for one of the only times in my lives, I actually agree with them. Anyone who's driven a race in Edinburgh or Guanajuato knows all too well how annoying they are to race around. Though that is in a large part the fault of Forza environmental hitboxes and stairs in particular. Japan is a beautiful country, but one of its most impressive features is its cities. So we have a situation where the devs don't want to have big cities, but the community members do. Forza Horizon is about driving long winding roads to, well, the horizon, and big fancy cities just don't fit the bill. Forza Horizon 5 is a beautiful game when played on a powerful PC with a good screen. Even the Xbox Series is still a really stupid name can output some very pretty images, but Horizon 5 was limited by the necessity to support the Xbox One lineup. Now there's a new problem. They want Horizon Japan in particular to look breathtaking, and be a, if not the, benchmark for graphics everywhere. But at the moment we have a situation where no one can keep up with anyone else. We've got 40 series GPUs coming soon, but essentially no one's got their hands on the 30 series yet. Oh, but it will improve by the time the next Forza Horizon game comes out. Naturally, but the consoles won't, and they're already falling behind, so the flagship Break All Boundaries Japan game would either not be that, or it would just be unplayable on console, which I don't think they'd risk happening. At this point I will say that I do expect Horizon 7 to be set in Japan, and to be essentially used as Microsoft's party piece at the next gen Xbox's launch. When it comes to Forza Horizon games, it's no secret that I'm a cynic who likes to complain, and I'll be honest, I do sometimes forget to give credit where it's due, and I'm often slightly too negative about the previous two games. From this point, however, I'll lean into my cynicism and say that, quite frankly, it won't be in Japan because Forza refuses to listen to us. Us, the community. And to anyone who says otherwise, according to Forza, we, the community, want Horizon promo. According to Forza, we, the community, want Horizon Arcade, and according to Forza, we, the community, don't want split times in our races. I would add the only 12 people per convoy situation, but with Forza's track record when it comes to online that actually works, I'm surprised they can manage 12. 
Let's come at this from a business perspective and be slightly more realistic and say they do know what their community want. And it's a big community. A big and thirsty community. Forza Horizon has in essence a monopoly on the open world driving game formula. The crew hasn't had a game out in the last 500 years it feels like, and by the time the next Horizon game comes out, Test Drive Solar Crown will have been and gone. Need for Speed Heat wasn't exactly a fan favourite, and so far I'm not exactly convinced by the new one they announced. Forza Horizon 5, however, is massive, and anyone who played 5 will want to play 6 when it comes out, because they'll have been so starved for new content. The people don't care where it's set, they'll play Horizon 6 no matter what. However, a Horizon Japan, if it's as perfect as people want, and need it to be, would dry up the demand for new Horizon games. The chances are that in the Japan-loving community's mind, nothing could ever be better. So why buy a new game when they could just play Forza Horizon Japan? Well, on that disappointing note, I do hope you enjoyed the video anyway, and as said, tomorrow I'll be announcing my top contenders for Forza Horizon 6 location, so do subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Other than that, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Bye!